Yes, all my movie maniacs, Mark the Movie Man here, final cut, and no, not every film at the Northeast Wisconsin Horror Film Fest this year was a short film. There were some features, and one feature we were fortunate enough to see was the sequel to Manos Hands of Fate, and it is called Manos Returns, with Tanya atomic in the directing chair this time she tells us the story of a group of young individuals who are heading out to a resort for a relaxing weekend but they take a wrong turn Clyde and soon find themselves on the property and in the home of the master and his servant Torgo and the master's brides and we see how these young folks try to escape the master before they become one of his victims <laughs> what I enjoyed about Manos Returns is the fact it didn't try to be more than what it was and it fully recognized the first one for what it was it embraces that it has that spirit of the first one uh, but the execution is much improved Tanya Atomic bringing her directing skills to the forefront making the most of this material uh, that she has, uh, keeping uh, that spirit alive of the first one, keeping the energy, keeping the characters feeling very similar to the first one, but they have changed over the years, and I really enjoyed that take on it. Now, you got Jackie Neiman Jones uh, returning, only this time she's an adult Debbie, where she played the young uh, Debbie in the first one, and it was great to see the take of where they took her character, and I thought Jackie did well in that role, and Tom Neiman, yes, the late Tom Neiman, the original original master gets to uh, reprise his role as well. Full master garb and everything. It was great to see him back on camera. It doesn't have a lot of scenes, but where he does show up, it was great to see. And Diane Adelson really puts in a uh, a solid performance in here as Maggie. Uh, she has some great scenes and they even do some really cool simple stuff because they are working on a limited budget here. Uh, they do some really great uh, simple stuff that has such a great effect like the use of color here with Maggie's character. Uh, they take a scene, a simple scene, and they have it in rich colors and bright and vibrant and then they start to fade it and when you realize what exactly is actually going on in this scene versus the perspective you get from the Maggie character. I loved that. It was simple and effective, and they've got a lot of that in here. They make the most of working on a smaller budget. Uh, the, the blood effects in here, I enjoyed it. It really had uh, that visual look that was similar to the first one, but again, uh, still uh, got a little bit of a modern uh, look to it, uh, and I, I liked that quite a bit. The brides were hilarious. You could tell these actresses were just having a lot of fun in, this, in these roles that they had. Uh, you know, Stephen Shields plays uh, Torgo in here, and uh, I, he he felt like the original Torgo. I think he he caught the essence of that character, the nuance of that character, and he really brings that to the forefront. And I I enjoy his character quite a bit. The script uh, was fun. It was. Uh, not too heavy at all. I did like the dialogue as well in here. And yeah, it, it's a fun indie film uh, that's shot on a micro budget and uh, makes the most of it. And it's not mean spirited the original at all, which I appreciated the most. So if you're a fan of Manos, Hands of Fate, you should seek out Manos Returns. I I think you'll enjoy it, you'll appreciate kind of the update that they've done to the characters, and at the same time, still keeping uh, that heart uh, that was in the original Manos film. So, there you have it, folks. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me babble about this film. Check out our Patreon if you haven't already. You get exclusive content as well as early access to some of our reviews, including ones like this. You'll, uh, it's very, we're cheap and easy and have a lot there, so uh, check that out. Also, uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I appreciate your support, and until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.